Whoa. Okay. Uh, Vivian, thank you for bringing out uh, the many things you did in our relationship. I love how weird you are. And although <laughs> I may make fun of you, I actually really enjoy it. Uh, your youthful energy, your random acts of love, ability to juggle a thousand different things. An ability to feel a great sense of empathy or uh, just a few things I love about you. I absolutely love the way you go about caring for others as well. You've shown um, you can care for others the way that Christ has called us to, and for that, I'm very thankful. Uh -huh. Dear Isaac, a few months ago, I read our journal entries to one another. It's such a sweet, distant memory to me. Our lives looked very different back then. Whether it was what stage of life we were at or the struggles we've had. We were pushed into long distance so unexpectedly and it felt hard to navigate those waters. Looking back, it's awesome to see how God used every bit of our trials, big or small, to mold us. Today is finally our wedding day and though it feels like we've been preparing for our wedding day for so long, I'm even more sure that God has used all of our experiences to prepare us for marriage. <laughs> Father, as we uh, come together, we are able to feel the great love that you shower upon us through friends and family, and you are a God of love, and you are a Father to those who have come to put their faith in the gospel of Jesus. And so as we enjoy this night may remember it's a gift from you and that there will be a greater celebration that is to come when i first met up with you at boudin eating soups and bread bowls i met a young korean guy wearing studs in his ears that i can never erase from my head even till this day i honestly thought like pastor james you were just another freshman trying to fit in and act really cool. As we talked more, I realized how much we had in common. And I guess that makes me just as cool or as uncool as you. When I look back, what I particularly liked about you was your interest and eagerness to learn more about God, how to be more Christ-like and to love the church. For these past eight to nine years, I've seen you grow from a boy into a man that strives to love God while dying to yourself, even when it's hard. Isaac, it's been a pleasure growing alongside you, and I look forward to continuing to being very good brothers in this life. Adventure buddy, foodie, boba junkie, and best friend, about 90% of my core memories are with you. Although I'm technically a big sister, uh, Vivian is someone that I look up to and admire deeply. For those of you who have the blessing to know her, she's the person who you can trust to tell her what you need to hear, hold you accountable, and be there providing love and support through all of it. She's someone who loves deeply and without conditions.
last few words that you should remember if you don't remember anything else. Um, promise to do my best to love you in this way, that you want to be loved, you're going to take time. I think the more you touch me, it's like, Sorry. we gotta eventually move on. Um, in every circumstance, I will do my best to point us back to Christ. I'm so lucky to be marrying such a smart, beautiful, and loving woman. I'm so glad God has put us in each other's lives, and now it's going to be forever till death separates us. Can't wait for all the hardships and adventures uh, we'll go through. Today, we make these promises, but in time, God will present the opportunities to put action into it. I have always been pretty guarded with my heart, but today I give you all my heart. I admire you and many of your qualities. I know God will strengthen you to lead our family well. I'm excited to be doing life together, to be able to carry your burdens and to grow alongside you. I love you forever.